that they like a new house with that fun. Without a stove, without a refrigerator. He had to furnish his world. And he furnished this world. Huh? Yes, he did. Now let's go to Genesis. I had to get my background. Huh? You don't build a house without a base. You have to have a base to build a good house. One and one. One and one. One and one. In the beginning. Huh? In the beginning. In the beginning. God created heaven and earth. Now, if you want to know if this beginning is the beginning, go to uh, <laughs> two and four. And read that. These are the generations. These are the generations of the heavens. Of the heavens. And of the earth. And of the earth. When they were created. When they were created. In the day, in the day that the Lord God, that the Lord God made earth, made earth and the heavens, and the heavens. This is the generation. Amen. Now let's go back to one. Read. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created, God created the heaven, the heaven and the earth, and the earth. Read. And the earth was without form, and when it created, it was without form, and there was no form to it. When it created, there was no form. There was no hill. There was no batter down. And there was no tree. There was no nothing on it. Might have had some water. But no fish in the water. Huh? Amen. I'm talking about when it created. Without form. The earth was waste and void. Unformed, unborn, and born. Invisible and unfurnished. Formless, wasteland, chaotic. God didn't let God don't let nothing we do stay in a chaotic way. Amen. That's the reason why when he told the man to go wash in the pool, the man went and poured, washed in the pool and come back and said, How do you see? He said, I see men have trees. That's chaotic. Yeah, I can't I that's not my work. I got to complete what I do. I got to make it perfect. Then go wash again. <laughs> so the man went wash again. Kevin said, how do you see? He said, I see men as me. Amen. If you see men as something else, it's you ain't see them perfect. Amen. If you see your brother and sister as something else, you ain't see it perfect. You need to go back and let God wash you again. Yeah. 
But he didn't let it stay like that. And all that that he wanted in the water to live in the water, he made it to live in the water. Yeah. And all that he wanted to live on the ground or on the earth, he made it to live on the earth. Yeah. But at this particular time, it wasn't earth to be seen. God prepared for the people. Yeah. He prepared for those that he knew that he was going to create. Yeah. Yeah. He was prepared for their need, their earthly need. God do no less in our salvation. He prepared for our salvation and need. He prepared for our spiritual need because he knew that we had a spiritual need and he wasn't going to save somebody and didn't have nowhere to put it. Couldn't see it. He ain't like them. Go out and get two things. Ain't got no house to put it. Go out here and marry somebody. Ain't got nowhere for them to live. He ain't like us. He provides for those that he bring in. Read. And the spirit of God. And the spirit. The spirit of God. The third person they said. The spirit of God. Amen. It was still. But you got to watch when the spirit go to move and it does things. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes the spirit ain't moving here. Amen. But when the spirit go to move, yeah. it makes it easy to do what you need to do. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It gives you some sense of power that you didn't have. Yeah. All we have been a helper. Yeah. It was a helper in creation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. It just didn't start to be the hell when God sent it back in the Holy Ghost fall. It was a helper in the beginning. Amen. That is his nature to help. Yes, <laughs> I say it was God's nature. That's the Holy Ghost nature to help. Yes, Always been hit in the program of God. Oh, huh? Yes, Thank you, Jesus. It just didn't give his name with Jesus. I'm going to send you another comfort. Said in the what in the what it and the spirit, and the spirit of, God of God moved upon the what the face of the water face of the waters yes sir yeah face of the water amen Read. and God said and God said yes, sir. let there be light now the spirit moved yeah. before he said lay anything. Here comes Jesus. Here he is. He spoke to him here. He said, Let there be light. Now we go back, amen, to St. John 3 1 and 3. There was nothing made without him, and all that was made was made by him. And you see, for Jesus to say that, he didn't take nothing from the Father. But Jesus said he was God and take nothing from the Father. Amen. Nothing. Then it said, let there be light. Don't you know <laughs> that the sun and the moon wouldn't really be needed for light? Amen. Amen. Huh? Yes. <laughs> huh? You've gone too far no, no, to keep on reading. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Read. And God said, let there be light. Now somebody said, where is that John getting out of the Bible? Amen. Amen. I ain't getting out of no catalog. Amen. No all in that. Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> Read. And there was light. And there was what? Light. And God saw the light. And God saw the light. That it was good. That the light was good. Yes, yes. And God divided. And God divided. The light. The light. From the darkness. From the darkness. Now what do you think that brought from? What do you think that brought from? What do you think 
that that brought about, when God divided the light from the darkness, what do you think that brought about? Just a light and death. That's how he created the light. That's how he created the light. He just divided the light from the night. Huh? And that was day and night. Yes. Who wouldn't want to serve Jesus? Who would want to believe in a Savior as such? Who would want to follow someone like that? I certainly would. And I am. Read, Brother Chris. And God called the light day. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And he called night. <laughs> That's what he called. It's been night ever since, right? <laughs> it's been day ever since. Night and day. Yeah. At least God don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Huh? Sometimes we think we get so educated that we don't really tell what God said. Hey! Amen. All God wants to do is understand his word. Amen. I believe the Bible is right. Amen. The Bible says it's perfect. Yes, it his word is perfect. Converted yes. the heart. Yes. Amen. Amen. And the day he called day, and the night he called night. Yes. Read. And the evening and the morning. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Was the first day. Now we said the morning and the evening. Uh -huh. He said the evening and the morning. <laughs> was what? The first day. The first day. Well, he had light. He had all light. But then when he divided the day from the dark, the light from the dark, he brought a day. The first day. And he recognized it was the first day because he started to work on the first day. <laughs> huh? Read. And God said, and God said, let there be a firmament. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the water. In the midst of the waters. And let it divide the water. And let it divide the water. From the water. From the water. You see, we got water. We live on water. Amen. And water is above us. Yes. That's right. The firmament could be also called a bowl. Something that, that yes. you see, when it rains, it don't never rain from up under it. It come down. He got enough water in his bowl to shower his church under. Thank you. <laughs> to let it divide. God is so great. God is so big. Big don't describe it. He's eternally powerful. Amen. What do the world need? They need power yes. that comes from the Almighty. Yes. Amen. Amen. What do you need? You need some power yes. to live right. Yes. Yes. I can't even what you need. It's a power. Yes. Hey, hey, God can help you live right. Yes. Hey, hey, God can help you love one another. Yes. If you want to. Yes. If you see right. Yes. If you want to see right. Yes. A lot of folks don't want to see right. Put them Holy Spirit glasses on you. Uh -huh. Start to looking at your brother right. Yes, and you know what I got saved? I used to hate Dickie G. Yeah. But what I got saved? I see him now different. Why? Because the Holy Ghost have been able to see right. Amen. Able to see right. Hey, hey, you talking about fellowship in this church. When we start to see one another right. 